Today's tutorial is about my own philosophy regarding panning in the stereo image when I work with multi-tracks. There is no right or wrong when it comes to panning. I just wanted to share with you what works for me, my own mindset, when I mix. One philosophy that can work for panning is what the Beatles used on the Revolver album, which was plenty of hard panning, including with the vocals. I think that sounds great for those tracks, and I'm not one for the revisionist history that the Beatles stereo mixes were lacking. For my own mixes and for ones that I do for my clients, I tend to start the track out in mono, then use panning to blossom out the stereo image when additional instrumentation comes in. On the song that we're looking at from the waveforms, you can see that the Mellotron and strings have a doubling effect coming in at the same time, with the intervals and ending at the same time. This is a good opportunity to spread out the image. And as you can see, I have the two tracks hard panned to the left here and to the right here. The same is true for the violins. Panning them hard left and right gives them a sense of space and air that sounds great. A lot of mixes now are nearly mono because engineers seem to be overly shy about panning. I encourage you to experiment with and use panning to make your mixes sound better. And that's about it. I hope this was helpful. If you'd like me to mix your multi-tracks to Atmos and stereo, or if you'd like me to up mix your stereo file into Atmos if you can't find the stems, check out the link below. Have a great day and happy mixing.